Great. Welcome, everyone, to our Camp Out with Volunteer recognition dinner tonight. Tonight, we honor 192 Bay County Department on Aging volunteers. Volunteers who are eligible for this event offer an average of 25 hours a year aiding and assisting us with programs such as the activity centers, representatives on various committees, such as our Senior Advisory Committee and the Senior Olympics, transportation and shopping programs, our mass mailings, including the Wonderful Times, Senior Olympics. How about event helpers with all of those great dinner theater events that we go to? Food commodity delivery people, it's just such a wonderful opportunity. Elder abuse projects, our knitting, crocheting, and quilting girls who give such beautiful quality um, materials to um, Samaritan Health or Samaritan Homebound folks. Um, who else, guys? The Women's Center, um, and you, get some of our clients. Just beautiful work you all do. Our Memorial Garden crew, the High Rise Meal Delivery people, our Senior Olympic Committee, which is fabulous, and student interns. Right now, I would like to call up our director, Roseanne George, to say a few words and to welcome you all. Roseanne? It is my great pleasure as a director of the Bay County Department on Aging to host this event and to welcome you to the annual volunteer recognition dinner. I would especially like to thank Bay County Executive Jim Barsha, uh, Commissioner Chairman Tom Herrick, and the Senior Advisory Committee members for joining us this evening to honor our volunteers for the many countless hours of service you provide to the seniors of Bay County. Now I will ask you to look to the person to your left and look to the person to your right. <laughs> is it a good thing or is it scary? No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Collectively, you and the volunteers sitting next to you have contributed over 7,785 of hours of service to one of the most important assets in our community, our seniors. Did you know that according to the Bureau of Labor and Statistics, the estimated value of volunteer time in 2016 was $24.14 an hour? If we do the math, this means that you have contributed over $188,000 of service hours to the seniors in Bain County. This is an outstanding achievement you should be very proud of. Our volunteers contribute to a healthy and vibrant community. They are ordinary people doing extraordinary things. And to us, this is priceless. Tonight I'd like to share one of my favorite quotes. To the world, you may be one person, but to one person, you may mean the world. You may never know the profound effect that you may have on a that you've made on a person's life. A kind word, a gentle touch, or a listening ear can mean so much to someone. You generously give your gift of time to make contact, provide support and encouragement, and perhaps provide humor to make someone's day a bit brighter because you have taken the time to care and to listen. You give of yourself and bring with you your life experiences, skills, abilities, compassion, intellect and humor and ask for nothing in return. Yet you receive friendship, appreciation, and satisfaction. You volunteer for many different reasons, but for whatever reason you volunteer, you provide support, talents, and abilities to give someone hope and strength and courage to face another day. You do not ask for accolades. You give your time generously without any expectation of reward. Yet you receive the reward of comradeship with other volunteers who you may have never met otherwise. Lasting friendships, social activities, and fun may be just some of the unexpected rewards that you gain from your volunteering experience. On behalf of the Bay County Executive, the Board of Commissioners, the Senior Advisory Committee, and the staff at Department on Aging, 
know that we genuinely appreciate and value your commitment of time to volunteering with our organization. We thank you so much for giving the greatest gift of all, the gift of yourself. Now I would like to introduce uh, Jim Barsha. I would just like to say a few words uh, about Jim as he comes up to the podium. Uh, Jim was born in Bay City and is a lifelong resident of Bay County. He attended Bay City Central High School and then graduated from SVSU in 1974 with a degree in political science. In 1976, at the young age of 24, Jim was elected to the Michigan House of Representatives then to the state senate in 1982, the year I graduated from high school, and to the United States Congress in 1992. Jim returned to the state senate in 2003 and served another eight years serving on the Appropriations Committee where he secured large amounts of resources for the Great Lakes Bay region. He has dedicated his entire adult life to public service. Last November, he was elected to the New Bay County Executive and has been working on his ambitious agenda to help advance our region economically and to improve government services to Bay County residents. Please join me in welcoming Jim Barsha. I want to thank Roseanne for that very kind introduction and say that, you know, I've been in office since 1976 with the exception of four years when I was uh, temporarily retired, but I see a lot of great friends in the room, a lot of people that uh, I've known over the years, and it's just good to see you all today and be recognized for this selfless devotion, time, and personal resources you have expended in your lives toward helping our retirees and seniors enjoy better programming and better services from the department. Uh, I think... Uh, was it Debbie? No, it was Roseanne that mentioned the value of the time and effort that you have put forth uh, to help the Department on Aging. And Roseanne did such a wonderful job um, expressing our gratitude. But I would like to say, uh, Roseanne, you, you just uh, heard from her. Yeah, Roseanne. Would all of the advisory committee and staff of the Department of Aging who are here today raise your hand so you can be recognized? Okay, let's give them. Thank you. There they are. Fine looking group, wouldn't you agree? Now, what I'd like to say is. Uh, Roseanne and myself and the Board of Commissioners determined that when we saw the latest uh, population trends in Bay County, that about 65% of our population is over the age of 60, and about 62% is over the age of 65. So almost one quarter of our population, of our residents in Bay County, are retired or in the category of a senior member of society. And it's really important that we recognize as a county government uh, that we want to do all that we can to service one quarter of our population, and making sure that you're aware of services that might be available to you, whether it's from Bay County, the state, or the federal level. And uh, I know that you, you are a big part of that by volunteering your time and effort to make sure that we deliver the best services that we can. But I feel very fortunate to have such a dedicated staff in the Department on Aging and all of the uh, advisory committee members and all of you volunteers who help us have a, a department on aging, not a division on aging, but a department on aging. I think that's very important. I also want to uh, say I look forward to working closely with you over the next uh, four years of my term as your county executive. And my door is always open, so if you have an opinion uh, that you would like to share or some insight on how we can deliver services better or what we might be able to do better at the county level, I have an open door. I'm on the fourth floor of the county building. 
And whether you call, email, or stop in to visit, I appreciate the expertise and the wisdom that each and every one of you have. And we will take, take those opinions and those suggestions very seriously. And I'm looking forward in just a few weeks to attending the breakfast and also once again returning to this room to place gold, silver, and bronze medallions on our senior Olympians. And I hope, I hope that I see some of you, I hope I have a chance to, uh, to place a medal on one of your necks and, uh, and I know that you'll be part of that whole uh, competition. So it's uh, kind of bittersweet because today, because we have had for the last, Roseanne, six, seven weeks has it been? Two months, eight weeks. We've had Roseanne George as our new director helping to organize the new Department on Aging and to look at some, some other options that we might be able to take advantage of to, you know, to help more of our senior population, Bay County. And unfortunately for Bay County, for me and for the staff and, and for our seniors in Bay County, she received an offer that is a once in a lifetime offer. So she's going to be departing her role as director of the Department on Aging, but we're going to try as best we can to find someone that'll do uh, almost or just as good a job as Roseanne has done in her eight weeks with Bay County. And uh, I know that she has worked late into the evenings and uh, she brought a lot of innovation to the office and we're going to miss her greatly. And if, if you would join me in a round of applause for what was a spectacular, but shorter than we would have liked tenure as, uh, as we saw from Roseanne George in her role as director of the Bay County uh, Department on Aging. Thank you, Roseanne. So I guess with that, Debbie, I'm not sure. I know it's a camping theme tonight, but we're going to have, I think, a, a great meal. And once again, I want to thank each and every person in the room for your devotion to Bay County, to your fellow residents of Bay County, and to our senior population. Thank you so much. Thank you, Roseanne, and thank you, Mr. Barsha. We appreciate the support um, to our programs and the value that you all help with that. And you know, I, get, I can't get sentimental about this tonight because any of you that have worked with me know how important you are to me. And we produce some really fabulous things and we help so many people. So I wanna try to keep it light, so I'll hug you afterwards and cry and do all the things I do at this particular time of year um, because you are stellar. You're fabulous. So let's get on with some fun and games here. I would like to introduce to you the head ranger for tonight at this here camp and that would be Ranger Barb Crazier. And come on up here, Barb. <laughs> Yes, she is reporting for duty. Okay, real good there. Uh, Hello, campers. <laughs> I'm not done talking yet, Barb. Wait your turn. All right, I wanted to say that she is responsible for the creation of Camp Volunteer, and she was responsible for the decorating of Camp Volunteer. She was responsible for the theme this year of Camp Out with Volunteers. And she was responsible for the menu. I don't know what I did. I, I, don't, I don't know what I did. Um, so I want to thank you for doing all of that. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, everybody. You're it's welcome. It's my pleasure to do this. It gets me out of my office. So. <laughs> all right. I, want, I, I do want Barb to say a few words, um, just a few because we did you want me to talk about the menu yes please well tonight we're having pork wings does anybody know what a pork wing is <laughs> neither did we because I thought when did 
pigs start to fly. <laughs> They do. Yeah. Fly. yeah. That's right. That's right. But we're having, you're going to love the meal tonight. It's kind of a camping theme. And the pork, the pork um, wings is what they call them when you order them, but they're actually pork and they look like a little drumstick. And I think we served them once before. But and yeah, some campfire good. potatoes and other yummy things. So hope you enjoy. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I need you up here for your last duty before I have to send you off into the kitchen to make sure that everything is A OK in there because we will be hungry after we get done with this. You, you are to call us to attention for our roll call. <laughs> attention! OK, thank you. Thank you. We do love volunteer recognition dinners, as you can tell. And afterwards, if you all wanted to know how I got these badges, I'll tell you later. <laughs> Okay, it was a lot of hard work. All righty, you know, we do have an incredible congregate meal activity centers all over Bay County, and we have some really incredible staff that help to run those and get programs going and have lots of fun, and we age well in those programs, and we eat well in those programs. And these girls do this work with the aid of a lot of great volunteers. So right now I'm going to have each one of them come up and they're going to do the roll call. You're free to stand up if you'd like. If you just want to give us a wave, hey, I'm so-and-so, that's great too. And we've got Bay County TV back there, Nick. Thank you, Nick, for everything he does for us. We're going to be on TV, so make sure, make sure you give a great smile, okay? Our first site coordinator is Irma LaPlante from the Hampton AM site. Irma, come on up. Woo! Good evening. I'm the site manager out at Hampton uh, AM, and I'd like to recognize Don Dowd and Kathy Dowd. They're somewhere in the back. There you go. Katie, I'm sorry. Katie what? Kaczynski. She's not here. Shirley McDonald, she's not here. Walt Wozniak is not here. And then there's Gary Spencer. Thank you, Gary. Thank you. Oh, and I'd like to introduce Karen Bublitz from Hampton PM. Good evening. My first volunteer was a college student that was earning credits for his college education. His name was Andrew Bouchong. Along with Andrew, I also share, share the responsibility of volunteering with Sally Kucher, Bev Duranzo, her guest, Paul Duranzo, Ron Marsh, Linda Merrill, John Makaitis, David Osborne, Jerry Provost, Harry Reese, Reggie Russell, Roger Tomasi. Thank you so much for everything you do. You make my job very simple and very pleasant. People to work with every single day. Thank you. Now please welcome Velda from Williams Township Hall. Hello everybody. Most of you guys know me. As far as I'm concerned, you're all great help. Doesn't matter where you're at. I've been to all of them. You all work, <laughs> you're all awesome. As far as Williams, we have Diane Beamlander, Eugene and Vale Frizel, Marvin Cook, Frank Latowski, Shirley Millars, Neva Spires, Connie Warren, and Wanda Zidi. And thank you all for helping me all the time. James. 
And now from Canteen is Jane Good. Can you hear me now? Okay. I'm Janie Good, and I am so honored to be able to share experiences with you, um, starting out myself as a volunteer and um, advancing through the ranks with how you have helped me and promoted me, and all the encouragements that you've done is just over the top amazing. I just appreciate everything that everybody is doing because you all go above and beyond with, with what you're doing to um, help out our department. Um, being an on-call site manager, I was able to participate and meet some of you at some of the other sites. Truly an honor and amazed at how much everybody shares and gives the gives them themselves to help out and now that i have a position at the canteen i also have the honors of having some regular um volunteers that are committing to make making my job fun and easier and i couldn't do it without you and i'd like to acknowledge you right now so you may either stand up or raise your hand or give a big woohoo okay <laughs> I have Larry Cleric. Linda Head is not with us today. I have Pam Limbaugh. Kathy Ritleski. Gary Spencer. By the way, he likes lima beans if anybody's interested in knowing that tidbit. <laughs> Thank you all so very much. I'd also like to um, introduce uh, one of our other fabulous site coordinators, and that would be Sandy Joswack. So come around and Sandy. <laughs> Hello. Everybody's been saying thank you, and I'm going to say the same thing. What more can we say? You're just wonderful people, and you make those of you that help me personally. I, I can't do my job without your help. I so appreciate it every single day. So I've got a bunch of names here, so bear with me. We have Diane Baker, George Barker, Judy Barker, B. Beecher, Mike Blair, Elizabeth Campbell, Marie Kobaugh, Doug DeWald, Judy Dishaw, Helen Goss, Judy Grove, Karen Houghton, Gary Ingersoll, Lynn Kaiser, Esther King, Gerhard Kohler, Bill Maxfield, Judy Morgan, Jackie O'Dell, Eldine Parent, Lorraine Rice, Veronica Roos, Barb Roy, Eva Settle, Brian Vermeesh, Cheryl Weiss, Doris Witzkel, Wayne Witzkel, and Shirley Wydra. Again, thank you so very much. Enjoy your evening. And Marla Backus is up next from Caucallan. Every morning I wake up and I enjoy, can say that I truly enjoy doing my job. And it's because of my volunteers at Caucallan. Thank you. Um, my my uh, volunteers are um, Melissa Bodecki, and she does my um, my exercise class. Monica Drew, Pat Herber, Sandy Cobalt, Betty Carrasca, Al Lapan, Edwidge Lapan, Monty McKeon, Rose Pomaville, and Bill Smith. Thank you, guys. And now I'm going to hand it back to Debbie. I don't know what I got going on here. I broke it. Debbie. Did you break it? <laughs> Marla, I broke it. There we go. I fixed it, Marla. All right. Now, please indulge me because we have some more volunteers, and these are the volunteers that help us with our 
programs um, with the Department on Aging. And so without further ado, I would like to thank Mike and Sue Arnold, Jane Banasak, Larry Banasak, Jim Berthume, Al Bilheimer, Trefley Boshier, Carol Brayman, Ralph Brown, Laura Burke, Dallas Shinovar, Shirley Cogan, Millie Crisp, Helen Cummings, George DeLorge, Shirley Dubiel, Jill Dugan, Sue Dreyer, Janet Farmer, Lorraine Photo, Sharon Fogelsinger, Steve Freilich, Janie Good, Nancy Green, Pat Guyrich, Casey Henderson, Bob Herrick, Doris Howell, Joni Hudson, Brenda Huff, Arlene Jonas, Bob Joswiak, Kathy and Tom Cato, Shirley Keenan, Wilma Kessler, Taylor Keyes, Linda Kittner, Andy Crazier, Kay Kuby, Carolyn Kujawa, Pat Krush, Sandy Lampkin, Roz and Tom Lang, Fred and Pat Lasky, Kathy Le Lehman, Mel Lefevre, Barb Lauer, Andrea Lynch, Nancy Markle, Barb McRae, Judy McIntosh, Donna Melans, Judy Maholsky, Pat Middleton, Marcia Miller, Jerry and Joyce Mitchell, Frank and Judy Misselak, Chris Noble, Sean from North Bay, Janet Pafford, Mary and Tom Pavlock, Chet Pulaski, Larry Petromo, Terry Moulton, Larry Pretzer, Fran, Franny Pudvan, Paul Rabideau, Lorraine Rake, Becky Ryman, Jan, Jan Richards, Janine Schmitz, Helen Schoen, Schoenheit, Don Schultz, Joyce Simpson, Diane Smith, Jane Saucier, Walt Smith. <laughs> okay, he has more vowels and consonants in his name than anyone should be allowed. So he has given me special permission to call him Smith. And I can do that, and I am ever grateful for that, Walt. Thank you. Barry Talaga, Carol Thomas, Barb Vallee, Judy Woodham, and Kathy Woods. I want to just add a couple, of, a couple more things and then we're gonna get moving here, but special recognition to our 90-year-old volunteers. Yes, indeed, we have them. So that just says keep going, just keep doing. And I want to say, the 90-year-olds that we have are Casey Henderson, Edwidge LePan, Helen Schoenheit, and Walt Wozniak. You are awesome. I want to know what you're doing and what you're taking. You can tell me afterwards. And I won't tell a soul. It will just be between us. She eats lettuce? Oh, venison! All right, Edwidge. All right, everybody. Bay County Department on Aging staff would like to send out our special acknowledgement and heartfelt thank you to all of you who serve our mission with support, enthusiasm, and dedication. The end result is an awesome community. And that's what we are in Bay County. We're awesome. And you know why those numbers are so high? Because we're awesome. Everybody wants to come here and live, okay? All righty, let us bow our heads right now. Let us get ourselves in a quiet place in our hearts and in our minds. Let us be so thankful. I know we're thankful for you, and I know you are thankful for your own special intentions. We're so grateful to have people like you in our lives. You mean so much to me personally and on our professional level. Thank you, dear Lord, for giving us the opportunity to be able to give to others. Thank you, dear Lord, for this wonderful meal that we are about to partake in tonight, for the folks that made that for us. 
Thank you for all the folks that put this event together tonight. And at this time, let us add our own special intentions from the bottom of our hearts. In his name we pray, amen. Okay, everybody. Now how it goes is, you know, we wine and dine you. You can sit there and just go, excuse me, I would like, and we'll be right there for you. So we'll have a great staff that's going to come and bring you your food. So let's get to the chow. Thanks, everybody.